G'day guys, how you going? I'm Isky, welcome to my YouTube video. And um, just a quick one, just a quick one. I just received something in the mail from Amazon. I've only just started buying stuff from Amazon and um, yeah, it's quite exciting. And uh, I'll show you what it is. Well, if you have a look here, can you see my wall, the side wall of my home theater here? You can see there's like a quad type of design over there. I came up with this design last year and uh, this is going to be my acoustic panels as well as you know, panels that are designed to hide speakers on a fabric wall that I'll be making on this channel as well. Um, you can see over here, there's supposed to be another one there. So if we come down here, I'll just give you a quick rundown. Yeah, so I've been making these in the last couple of weeks. And you can see how they look. They're actually, by the way, this wall here, this fabric wall, that's just all temporary. Um, I haven't even started my fabric wall yet. I've just got this gray fabric there. That's just there to hold in the insulation glass fibers from floating off and getting into people's lungs when it's done it will look incredible it'll still be gray and it will have black on it as well fabric but um yeah you these are designed basically if i push you can see i've pushed that there's a gap there that's designed um, you can see here how i've got leds running around the perimeter on the front they're designed to shine through the front of a perspex um, um, cover that will go on there um, and that cover will be, have a big cutout so I can put rock wool or earth wool in there insulation to absorb certain frequencies now on the other side of here there's a there's a gap as well there's a, a ditch so I can put lights to shine down on the wall so we get some nice accent lighting around the entire thing on the wall itself so you get the idea but what I've just received in the mail is a light to go in the center here. And um, I came up with this idea a while ago as well. And I was going to make this certain light. It's called a cross light. And uh, I saw it on another home theater, you know, photo oh, over a year ago now. And I liked it. And I found out where you can buy them. You can get them on eBay. They're about $76. And uh, I decided that I was going to make mine. And that's part of the reason you might have seen me. Um, I made a video where I scrapped about 80 TVs and I pulled out all these Fresnel lenses and all of this stuff. Well, I was going to make mine. And in fact, I've actually started buying the LEDs that are supposed to go in there. And I've got transformers already. I was going to 3D print the cases, but um, in the end, I found a light, which is, by the way, down here on the floor. I found this light, and um, $52. Turns out, for me to make these lights, it's going to be... I can do it for less than $52, but I think it's up to around about 40 bucks. So it's a lot more, you know, it's, it's more economical um, just to, to make them. You know, it's going to take a lot of time. So I'm just going to buy them. I've just bought one, so we're going to open it now. And uh, yeah, I'll be needing six of them though. That's why I was, because they will add up, that's 600 bucks. You can see here we've got, I need one for there, two, three, and this opposite wall over here will have this exact same thing. So I'm gonna need six along there. In fact, if you look up in that corner up there, you can see I've got more of those panels half made. And uh, yeah, it's coming along. So when I get some more subscribers, I'm making videos on how I'm doing this. I'll actually release those videos because I'm a little bit over releasing videos that take me a long time to make when nobody's really watching them. But um, all right, what do you think? Let's open this up and have a quick look. I'm really excited because I've been thinking about this for a very long time. I'm just gonna put a light on there. And we got ourselves a knife. Man, I hope this is the light. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm waiting for that is actually square. It's got to be it. It's supposed to be, uh, it's, um, what is it? Um, 140 mil square, so 14 centimeters. This is definitely it. So let's open this up. Oh, look at that. I've looked at photos of these things for such a long time. Wow, it's heavy. Yeah, so I can't actually, I can't actually turn it on for you in this video because it needs to be hardwired into the wall. Let me just stick you down here. Let's 
just pull this off. Wow. Wow. Can you see these? So that's where the bulb, that's where the light shines out of on either side. And um, wow, that's actually, feels like really nice quality stuff. Um, I want to open up this and have a quick look inside because I do know what it's like inside. That's why I, I knew how to make it. I was going to figure it out anyway. But um, yeah, there's a transformer inside here, four LEDs. And um, yeah, I was going to 3D print this, but um, this is cool. So yeah, basically, let me just, where can I put you? I'll just stick you here so that you can see. I just want to see what the kind of dimensions are going to be like. I kind of come to the conclusion that this white template is too big. So this here will basically go in there like that and that will be perfect actually. That will be the perfect size. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. So yeah, so you're probably wondering what does it look like turned on? Well, let me just show you. I'll bring up some photos now. Check these out. How cool do those photos look? That's what I want, a cross light to kind of shine beams in between my acoustic panels. And yeah. Hey guys, just before I get going, um, what I was thinking is I might just quickly mount this. I know there is a stud. See, I've got a stud just here. So I might be able to mount this on the wall just quickly. Right here we have a metal post and then there's another stud here. So what do you think? Um, I guess if you're curious to see what it looks like inside, we will basically see what it looks like inside because I have a feeling that the um, screws um, are probably inside because they're not in the packaging. So there's two screws here. Let's just undo this. Wow. Oh man. Let me bring you down. Wow, check that out. Wow. Oh, there's your screws. There's the screws. But um, that's our transformer. Wow, look how small it is. I was expecting it to be a lot bigger than that. But um, okay. So, but look at the way it's just flopping around. I'm going to have to secure it somehow. Jeez, look at that, how dodgy. Well, maybe not dodgy, but um, I'd prefer it to be a little bit more secure in there. But um, we'll work that out later. But for now, yeah, but you can see here, see these lenses? See these lenses here where the, oh wow, even those uh, Cree LEDs are different to the ones that I just showed you. They're actually, look how tiny they are. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. But, um. Yeah, can you see how they've done this? This is just like alloy U-channel. And then they've just cut this out and then they've stuck this kind of lens in here. It's solid plastic. I was going to use the Fresnel lenses out of a bunch of TVs. Remember I made a video, said it before, um, where I scrapped 80 TVs and pulled out all the good parts. There was some Fresnel lenses in there. I was actually going to cut those up and use them in here. But um stuff that <laughs> I'm just gonna buy them, they're so cheap. But um there we go. So let's put this back on top. Hopefully screw that in. Oh no, 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 I can't do that yet. <laughs> because I have to attach it to the wall like this first. Okay, let me just set you up here and um, I will see if there's a decent anchor spot in there somewhere that I can use. Just grab these two screws. I'll put you closer. There we go. And just set you there for the time being. I mean, this is just obviously very temporary. I just want to see what the dimensions look like. Okay, let's 
Well, no, let's leave that on for the moment. I can always take it off a bit later. No, let's take that off now. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> obviously, obviously, you'd think that you would put that on like that. You'd screw that there, and then this cover goes on top. But how do you screw the cover back onto it? Because you have to get to the other side of <laughs> the box. How the hell? What? I am confused. How do you put this on the wall? I am so confused. That is so weird. Um, that is weird. I was expecting there'd be like a clip or something that this would just kind of push onto. Maybe some, yeah, that is so strange. So how do you get it on? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if this is screwed from the other side and you need to get into the box to screw it to the wall, then how does, oh man, I don't know. Um, you're not, you don't hang it, you're not supposed to hang it through those tiny little holes. That is so weird. Okay, let me work it out and I'll come back. Alright, I'm back two minutes later and I still can't work it out. I'll just give you a quick look at what's supposed to happen. So that's the inside of the lid. You can see there we've got some posts there. They've got threads inside those holes. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get these screws and screw it you know those posts marry up to that hole there and that hole there and then you screw it from the outside on the other side if you want this to go on but if you do that then you can't get access to the inside here to screw it to the wall and that's what you want so i'm not really sure how it's supposed to go so what i'm going to have to do i think is modify this I'm thinking maybe, oh, you know what I could do. <laughs> Just for now, I'm gonna go and grab some rare earth magnets because I think this is steel. It doesn't feel light enough to be alloy. I'll put some rare earth magnets there and I'll just hold it on with rare earth magnets. That's my, that might be how I do the whole thing. Let me just go and grab some magnets. Alrighty, so I'm back and I've got some magnets. <laughs> I'll just give you a quick look. Can you see them there? These are rare earth magnets, and these are the kind of magnets that I'm using to hold my Starfield ceiling up. Although the ones that um, are on my ceiling are a little bit longer. These, I think, are about 20 mil. I'm using 30 mil ones. But uh, these should do for now, as long as this is steel, I think it is. Let's just put a magnet. Yep, steel. Put one there. Um, one there. I've just got enough, I've got four. Um, put one here. And one just there. Alrighty. So if I get the lid now, that should just... There we go. Beautiful. And that is really strong. That is really strong. In fact, I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. That's probably how I'll end up keeping it, I'd say. But uh, yeah, once this is all done, um, I never really planned on keeping this matte black finish. I'll show you what I was going to do. I've actually got some here. You can see this alloy polycarbonate sheeting stuff here. I was actually going to cut out some of that, and these were going to be... That was going to be alloy in the centre ones. And then the middle one there was going to be a gloss black, which is... We've got some more down here. You can see there that there will be gloss black so yeah so it'll be alloy gloss black alloy 
and um, we'll have some more big panels here that are black panels over grey fabric wall. So there we go, can't wait to do that. All right, but there you go, folks. <laughs> Thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, come back to me, come back to me. Three months later, believe it or not, and I am well into building these walls. We have multiple layers of lining and most of my wiring is done. Um, I am almost finished these panels. Been doing the speaker cutouts. I've even been putting backing boxes on the back of them. And I'm about to put LED lighting in there, the strip lights, as well as covering them with velvet and other fabrics, lace, etc. But um, guess what? I've worked it out. I can't leave or finish this video without showing you. Let me just sit you here. I've got this light just screwed to a bit of off cut at the moment. I was looking at it the other day and I thought to myself, man, there's got to be a simple way of doing this. And all of a sudden I thought, I wonder if the top just pulls off. <laughs> guess what? That's exactly how it goes. That's exactly how it's put on. So if you have a look at here, you can see they've got these cylindrical hollow pieces there. And those marry up with these posts in here. And they've got these flared bits. And that's what holds them on. I just didn't expect it to be that simple. I thought it'd have to be a bit more secure than that. But um, I guess that's all you need. I was happy just to use magnets. But um, there you go, problem solved <laughs> and video finished. Thanks, guys. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.